Hello, I am Luos and in this guide slash tutorial for the impact of fax pack I am going to show you how to make use of the material instances. In this case the radio ring since it has most of the features and represents most of the instances created for this package. Okay, so this is one of the radio rings of course. And these are all the options you can see in the impact radio ring. So let's go over a few basic ones. You can change the texture in here. And if I do that, then as you can see, you get a new texture. But in this case, I'm just going to use the one that I already have. If you change the normal, I'm going to show you that later. And same with the noise texture. So first, the texture tile amount. If I change this, as you can see, you get a whole new effect. And this is because it's tiling it radial. Okay, let's go back to initial value. And if you tell I amount, you get multiple rings, and that changes until an infinite weird effect, of course. And you can also go the other way around until it's gone. That way, you can tweak any texture that you implement, and that gives a lot of versatility. Now, there's also the ring nurture, and it's kind of the same as the texture tell amount Y. But the cool thing about texture tell amount Y, if you do it negatively, you invert the effect and you can still nudge the ring the same way. You can see here. So you can create quite a cool effect if you want to. Now let's say you want something like this, but you don't want that outer edge. Then you can go to, uh, where is it, the outer ring radius. And tweak that value, as you can see here. Now it's gone. If you want a small hole in the center, you can enable the inner ring radius and tweak that value as well until you get something like this. I'm going to revert the values because I'm actually using this material instance, of course. There we go. Uh, same with color A and color B. If you change color A, you change the outer edge. So let's make this a nice blue, for instance. Obviously, because the second color is red and there's a blending, you'll get the weird purplish color, of course. But if I then change the B color to something else, you can see that it's definitely changing. So you can add some nice cool effects to it. All right. Then there's the color radius, which is the the fading in and out of the, both colors. So that there's more blue, there's more purple. This allows you to tweak it until you get something that you really, really like. For instance, if I go a bit more red, this actually looks kind of cool. And then there's the emissive strength, which is quite unique to this uh, instance. That allows for more or less glow where you need it. Obviously I'm going to change back colors again and disable everything that I don't need. Um, um, um. Uh, the outer ring and inner ring rays already explained. It allows you to tweak the way everything looks so you can get some new results. It's also handy if you only want a ring of course or the inversion. Okay. So let's go over the noise distortion. This is something I added. I have, I'm not using it myself in this package, but I added it for your convenience. So let's play around with it a little bit. I'm going to enable the noise distortion and even the low value is already enough to change something as you can see. But if you go higher and higher, then you get the weirdest things. So it's better used in low values. And the normal map you apply to this, the noise normal, directly affects this. So if I'm going to pick another one, as you can see, you get a whole different effect. And same if I pick this one, for instance, but I'm going to go back to the one I'm initially using. So now after this enabled, I'm going to use a low value like 0.05. I'm going to enable some other things. Uh, I can tweak that noise normal the layout of it so I can actually tile it a bit more. And even though it's a small value, it can add up especially if you enable the pan speeds of them so let's enable this to 0.1 and maybe just for the showcase sake i'm going to add it to one as you can see the noise is rotating now additionally if you have the noise pan y it's actually moving inwards or outwards in this case it's inwards and in this case it's outwards this can add to a nice fury effect of course uh, all right, you can still play around with all the other options I already explained. Sometimes you might need to get in, give the inner radius a small nudge so that the small dot in the center is gone. But sometimes you don't even need to do that. Okay, I'm gonna reset those values. Uh, okay, now I've this explained. 
I'm going to reset those values as well. Because I want to keep it the way it is. All right. Let's go over the erosion. So erosion is something I added to add some additional features to it. It's a bit of a fickle beast, but it can add create some quite cool effects if you play around with it. So let's, if you see, I'm gonna slowly erode away the texture, and this can give some quite cool effects. But it really depends on the noise texture that I'm using. I'm gonna select another one now, so you can see that there's a difference going on. And I'm gonna add a few more before I polish this package. But let's just select this one. The texture tile amount obviously tiles the texture just the way that it does for the ring. So you can get some quite cool effects. And then there's erosion blur. So as you can see, you can blur in and out that effect. And then there's the texture tile amount on Y that can also create some cool effects if you want to. I'm gonna go back to the original value for that one already. And it also has a ring nurture. So this is kind of cool if I want to do minus one. Then obviously this is inverted. Uh, okay, what else? The nose distortion. This distorts the actual erosion. Just like how it made the whole thing more furry and wobbly, it also makes that distortion, the erosion more distorted. Oh my god, distortion, erosion, distortion, erosion. Okay, so if I change these values for the map size. Uh, just only a little bit. I'm gonna keep it to one now until we get to the noise panel speed. So now we can actually apply some noise to that erosion. I'm actually gonna get the erosion blur back until you have a hole. And this is basically adding some additional wobble noise to that effect. So keep that in mind when you're playing with it. You can get quite cool effects with it. And yeah, this is just for all kinds of additional cool features. Uh, for instance, let's just go with minus one on this one. And make it a bit bigger with the ring nurture. There. And let's reduce this noise to about two and two. Let's be just a slight wobble. And yeah, as you can see, there's quite some cool things you can do with it. So yeah, play around with it because there is a lot you can do. Additionally, and this is uh, identical to all the materials, this is, there's also the Met Perm collection. And this is global desaturation that you can apply on the texture. So you can desaturate, desaturate it. You can increase the emissive strength separately from the other ones. Uh, same with the U-Shift, change the colors real quick. And the saturator is just something that makes everything more bright. It's something I added. You don't really notice it until you place it in a level, but normally you don't need to touch this. Mostly for uh, when used with the different tone mappers. All right, so I just gonna move all these values back. And before I do that, I'm gonna say goodbye because you don't need to see this, of course. All right, take care.